Maui banks in Earth River during an operation targeting illegal brews. Meanwhile, Kenya Forest Service officials in Narrow County have launched a tree planting exercise that seeks to create awareness on the importance of conserving the environment. According to Narrow County Forest Coordinator James Mburu, the region risks losing its forest cover from the illegal loggers if the local residents are not involved in efforts to conserve environment. And the youth have been challenged to join groups that will develop their talents and enhance their chances of accessing gainful employment. Speaking during the launch of a program dubbed the Festive Dream, Programs Director Celia Bray said there was a need for the youth to engage in gainful activities, saying lack of advice and mentorship were the main challenges facing youth development. Elsewhere, the 12th annual Miss Tourism Kenya has been launched bringing together representatives from 47 counties in celebration of the country's cultural diversity. Miss Tourism Kenya 2013 is set to introduce new products in sports, agriculture and adventure tourism through pageantry as a learning point. Finally, the third phase of Nico na Safaricom Live Music Bonanza was launched last night and amid pomp and color at a ceremony graced by local musicians and entertainers. Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo said the Bonanza is in line with the company's policy of promoting local talent and making a substantial contribution in the development of local entertainment industry. The live music show will kick off in 27th July this year and close on 15 February next year in Kisumu City. Brenda Kipono reporting for Channel 1 News Hour.